So as the number of COVID cases surge, I spoke with a world-renowned infectious disease epi epidemiologist who has really studied pandemics for years, and he gave me some insight on what we can expect. We really are in for the next uh, year or two a very serious situation unless we can get a vaccine sooner and uh, there's no guarantee that that's going to happen. Michael Osterholm is the director of the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy at the University of Minnesota. Right now in the United States, and for that matter, most areas of the world, no more than five to seven percent of the population has been infected. And this virus will continue to transmit quite readily until we get to at least 50 to 70 percent of the population infected. Three and a half months into the pandemic, more young adults in Florida are testing positive for COVID-19. The median age in the state is 40. In Duval County, it's 34. Our big concern is, is that many of these young adults who are not severely ill um, and uh, who are otherwise still mobile will actually transmit to many of the older population who will, in fact, uh, be very vulnerable to this infection in terms of a serious disease outcome. Um, and that will not play out probably for weeks yet. We people have to understand we're in the earliest part of this pandemic yet. Do you think the protests um, are linked to the increase in cases that we're seeing? Yeah, interesting. We have no data to support the protests have any, had any substantial increase in cases around the country. Outdoor air very quickly dissipates the virus. As for face coverings, he says he wears one in public. The most important thing to know is that still distance, distance, and distance is going to be your best measure for protecting yourself. And don't let a uh, use of a face cloth covering confuse you into thinking that now, therefore, I don't have to distance. Some good advice right there. Now, he said as we head into the July 4th holiday weekend, keep in mind that the likelihood of transmission of the virus is substantially lower in outdoor air. So he says that if families do get together, remember just to try and stay six feet apart from others. And the risk of transmission, he says, is the greatest at large indoor group gatherings.